All right, boys. So you guys see here, we're playing OJ the Juice Man. I played him twice over this over the course of this house rules because I guess he lurked me or did whatever. Um, I don't know, but he's in the stream. Cool dude. No problems with him, whatever. I didn't mind. Didn't really mind playing him. Uh, but this was the first game of it. The second game, I won. It was a little bit. It wasn't as good of a game as this one. So I'm just gonna bring you guys the first one. But the second game uh, was a little bit out, not out of control, but just just wasn't as close as this one. So. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy this, man. House rules, you have to play it a little bit differently. Um, whatever the house rule is, you usually kinda have to take advantage of it. So this week was extra points from touchdowns from the 10 to the 20. So when you were in that yard range, you wanted to make sure that you gave yourself a chance as we drop a pick right there. That was a pretty easy one. I remember being really mad about that on stream. Cause when you know when you drop a pick, next thing you know, you're likely gonna give up at least a first down, maybe a touchdown. Right here, we send the dogs, don't make anything happen, and he throws a straight laser. Good job by him. But as I was saying, you have to take advantage of the house rules. So this week, it's two-point conversions. I'm going to go for two every single time I score a touchdown. You just have to, it's just the, you got to play the game the right way as far as, as far as what the house rule is. You have to take advantage of your extra points and try to get a one-up on your opponent. So if you get a touchdown between the 10 and the 20 and they don't get one, they're going to be in some trouble. So right there. Thought we had good defense on the field. He throws it up to, I believe it was George Kittle. And he ags on me. Tough break there. I'm not mad at that ag read. I mean, you're going to catch that a lot. It's Madden 19. I was just mad I dropped my pick earlier. But something we did do, we made him work on that drive for sure. So I saw that he went to bunch the first play. We locked that up. And then he didn't come out of trips after that. So knowing that, I'm just going to know that Trips is going to is probably what I'm going to see. And I got to see a lot of his plays that he liked to go to from him. So I always tell you guys, the first drive on offense and the first play on defense are really just feel-out drives. So defensively, I know he wants to go to Trips right in. I know a few of his plays. Offensively right now, I'm seeing he's manning up a ton of people. A ton, ton, a ton of people. And he's also baseline pressing, but he's leaving a quarter out there. After the first play, he did not leave a cloud out there anymore uh, for the most part. So I wasn't able to outside fade him. But I'm also keeping that outside fade out there just in case he he does happen to leave a deep half and I can catch him lacking. But perfect play call right there. We just fumble inside the 10. So tough break for us. We drop a pick. He gets a touchdown on his drive. And then we drive all the way down the field and fumble. However, I did find a play that he was struggling to guard x -Bot. And I always tell you guys, when you find a play on offense that they're not guarding well and they're not adjusting to it, keep running that thing. Don't. Oh, I need to mix in my play. No, like, if they can't guard you, please, please keep calling that play until they show you they can guard it. So we're ready for that. Right there, nice little low ball. That's a tough thing to give up on second and 19 right there. I, I tried to blitz them. Just didn't get home. When you don't get home on the blitz, you're probably going to give up a big game. And right there, we go for first down. But you can see we're playing really good defense. We're making them work. We get another sack right there. We're really making them work. However, right here, I really think he was stream watching. I don't know. Uh, cause instead of having the deep third, I had the deep quarter and he's able to bomb me over the top. That was a really hard throw of the way for Vic to make. I sent six. So there was a lot of people in his face. He just got perfect blocking and then a perfect throw and he beats him down the middle. So we're down 14, nothing quick guys. And the thing about it is it's tough to be down 14, nothing. When you're thinking about it, you're like, man, I really don't feel like I played that bad. I really feel like I played well. I, I, I should have had a pick on the first possession. I got two sacks on his next possession and forced him into second and 19 and second and 16. And, I, and he ended up getting the touchdown on both those drives. So it's just, it's like, man, uh, that's usually a little bit demoralizing. Now, I was staying locked in because I was like, you know what, man? Like, I just got to keep doing what I do. And right here, we throw the wheel route laser. Big time touchdown to get that back, guys. Huge. He, he, took his, uh, he took his deep blue away but didn't blitz. So I had it all day in the pocket. It gets over the cloud, and we throw a wheel for a touchdown. That was a good late read right there. I had a lot of time in the pocket. I'm just kind of looking around for something to get open. And the wheel run ended up being a touchdown. So huge play to kind of get back in. As I was saying, it was demoralizing to be down when I felt like I had been at least playing him evenly, if not outplaying him. So tough thing to go through right there. But to get that back was huge before halftime. Now it's 14-7. We have to make sure to not give up any points. And right there, I don't know what I was doing. My alert, really sleepy. Everything was boxed. He was getting ready to get sacked. And I just give him a, a crosser, which probably would have been a pick had I not stopped using it. So... Right here, he throws right at us with Jamal Adams. You see me in the screen, I'm yelling at it. Super, super annoying. Um, but uh, we 
We don't get the pick, and he's now in field goal range. So this is huge. If we give up three here, it's going to be rough because we're going to be down two possessions. We really don't want to give that up, but we really have no choice. If he doesn't make a mistake, he gives three here, and he's in prime position to win the game. So we should do our best to make sure we don't give up seven right here. Just looking back and forth, back and forth, trying to make sure I don't give anything up. He ends up taking a sack, uh, which wasn't a problem. He was still in field goal range, except he misses the kick. Guys, a little bit of luck for me right there. He missed the kick. I don't know what happened right there. He was definitely in field goal range. This is mutt. So a 54 yarder is nothing. So right here, nice little laser over the middle. Calvin Johnson would pick up about a quick 20. Offensively, guys, I have played extremely well. I made, uh, I didn't make any mistakes in the first half. I just had the one fumble inside the 10. And outside of that, I've played perfect. Right here, he plays good defense. We just hit our in route late. Uh, we happen to have time in the pocket. Not bad adjustments right there by him, but... When you just get that much time in the pocket, something is usually going to come open for you. That's why I've I've started sending a lot more pressure this year. Right there, that was my first bad read of the day. Really frustrating to make that read inside inside field goal range. Definitely something I can't do, especially when I felt like I was really starting to take back over the momentum. But what I was saying was was that if you have um, if you have too much time in the pocket, you're going to you're going to be able to find something open, even if you play perfect defense, which is why I've really started sending a lot more pressure at people. As you can see right here, I'm sending the dogs with this kid for the most part. Because if you, even if you play the perfect adjustments, if they get all day, they're going to find something open. It's just the fact that the matter is that this game, the routes will come back to you and get open. So you can't just send three, send three, send three, send three, and expect to win unless you're playing somebody that doesn't really know what they're doing. So you got to at least mix in some pressure once every three downs, I'd say. I, I've been sending it more probably two out of three. But that's something new that I've been doing. I used to send a lot less pressure this year since I got out of 3 3 5 When I was in 3 3 5 you were getting pressure every single play pretty much. But once I once I changed to 3 3 5 the meta really became sending a, uh, less pressure and sending more just cut like coverage defense. But I feel like you need to send pressure right now just the way the game is playing. At least, at least two out of three downs. At least one out of three, but I try to send it two out of three. Excuse me. So, right here, try to catch him lacking, really. Um, and we really we really didn't get anything, and we just throw it up, and Odell just makes plays. He he played good defense right there. I tried to catch him deep. Didn't get anything, but I tell you guys, I always I always preach good players to you guys. And might. if I think a player's really good, I'm going to tell you I think he's really good. Odell Beckham is the best receiver in this game. He catches everything in traffic. He catches ags. He has not over 90 break tackles, so he breaks tackles. He has a really good quick spin. Everything he does is really good in this game, man. So if you guys don't have Odell Beckham, make sure you guys check him out. Now, here's what I'm thinking in this game. I'm down 14-7. This is house rules. I know if I get within the 20 and the 10, I can get an extra six points on my on my uh, touchdown. So instead of tying this game up and, and having a field goal beat me, which in, this is Madden 19, you can get a field goal so easily. It's very, very difficult to get a stop in this game. So I'm thinking, you know what? I really kind of need this this 13 points right here. I, I don't think seven's gonna cut it. Now, maybe I do play good defense and maybe I get a stop, but that's a tough thing to rely on. So right here, I go to my favorite red zone laser and oh buddy, was that clutch. Because guys, if I'm tied right there, I'm willing to bet he gets three. I really am, I'm willing to bet it. And instead, we get ourselves our two-point conversion as well. Now we're up seven. And the only thing that can beat us is, a, is the 20 to 10 touchdown. Everything else, I'm good to go. I'm safe. So I, I'm i not going to say I played it perfectly because he had to give it up to me. But to take advantage of that, that extra six points was huge. It just adds... This house rules is cool. I like it a lot because it, I feel like it adds an extra dimension to, to the game. An extra thinking point. I purposely got stuck in between the 20 and the 10 to make sure I had a chance, at least a chance to get that extra, uh, to get those extra points. Right there, he throws right at me. I have no idea how I didn't get that pick, guys. I really felt like I was all over that. But tough break there. Not gonna trip on it though. Right here, you guys see, I had the deep quarter. But the, the reason why I did that adjustment right there, I did the deep quarter, which is what I gave the touchdown, the deep touchdown up on last time. But I manned up circle to make sure he couldn't beat me deep like he did before. So I'm just preventing that. Right here, perfect defense, but he gives himself the out route. Not not mad at that. I'll give up a few yards, make him take a timeout here. I'm really just trying to send pressure, send pressure, send pressure, and make sure I don't give up a, an easy touchdown. I'm making him work as hard as I can. Right here, perfect defense again. And he, I look like he was throwing it right at me. I'm not going to lie. You guys can be the judge of that. I thought he was throwing it right to me. 
we get a bat down though so he ends up getting to stay safe right here we play pretty good defense i think i made him just just wait long enough i don't know if that's on target if i pick that or if he catches it who knows that's a tough one to read right there throws another pick at me you guys see me i'm mad i'm angry <laughs> uh but it is what it is man we forced a fourth and ten we played really good defense this drive we've made them work the whole way and we just need one more stop and right here we're all over everything and just for the cherry on top boys we dropped another pick i remember that being funny considering the fact that i didn't catch a single pick all game i felt like he threw at least a few of them but we came out with the dub we played house rules the way house rules was supposed to be played we took advantage of our extra points and guys i hope you enjoy it you guys are going to continue to get different gameplays through the through may house rules uh regs money games salary cap mud weekend league if you guys want to see anything in particular oh chaos coaching if you guys want to see anything in particular though let me know put it in the comments let me know how you guys are doing in house rules let me know how you guys are doing in weekend league man take it easy peace